are thinking to purchase an electric car or you have already one but you are considering do I need a level 2 charger or can I basically charge with a 3 pin socket I'm going to give you my thoughts you definitely don't need it if you have the needs that I have in my house so if you want to know a little bit more about my experience and what you need to do to be completely safe Stay tuned until the end of the video. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack, and if you love ECS PVs and everything that have an E of electricity, this is the place for you. And today we are going to talk about my experience basically charging the car every single day with just a three pin socket. And is it dangerous? Is it not? We'll talk about all these safety concerns that you can have and all the myths. Yes, it can be dangerous, but if you know what you are doing, you are completely safe. So if you don't have seen, I have done the review of my new electric car. I have now a Volvo EX30. Unfortunately, Volvo doesn't provide a charger to us, so I had to purchase one. I'll leave in the description below which ones I have it here. And you have plenty of these chargers that you can buy and you don't need to have one of the brand of your car that's definitely a myth and uh, you are going to spend much more money and something that will cost you maybe half of the price or even a third of the price is more than enough the one that we have here you can change the amperage but i have to say to you guys it's not really accurate so we have this at 13 amps but I definitely don't recommend you to charge at 13 amps, but we'll go there in a minute. So telling you our life here, my wife is a nurse, she commutes between 50 to 60 miles a day, and basically she arrives at home between five and eight, nine o'clock in the evening. And to charge the car, and normally when she arrives home, she have between 76% of battery and 50 something percent of battery, to charge up to 90%, that is basically what she needs every single day, besides when we have to go to London or to do a bigger trip, charge basically in nine hours. If for some reasons we go to the cinema on that day, obviously in the morning it will not be fully, fully charged, but like I said, she normally arrive home with 60 something percent, 70 something percent to do those 50, 60 miles a day. So even if it's a little bit lower, yes, it will not charge back to 90%, but it's more than enough for her to do another day. And on that other day, if she arrives a little bit early, we'll be able to put it to charge once again without a problem. Do you have an electric car and do you charge your electric car like me just with a three pin socket? Let me know in the comments below because in that way you'll be helping others. So why do I not install a level two? And the big reason is this house is rented. So this is not my house. And for that reason, it makes no sense for me to invest on a level two charger because when I'll leave it, I'll have it to leave it here. So in other words, I'll have made the price of this house going up and I definitely want to one day leave this house and have my own one. So for that reason, it makes no sense to invest on a level two. So like I said before, my charger can go up to 13 amps and majority of them that you'll be basically purchasing online, they go between six to 9 amps but you'll not be taking the value of it so in other words if you charge at 6 amps it will take much longer if you charge at 13 amps it will be much much faster but like i promised to you guys i will explain why i have this in 13 amps but i will not recommend you to charge at 13 amps so in other words at least here in the uk every time that you go to one of the plugs in one of the parts of your house those plugs even if you have two together together they can do 13 amps. So in other words, if you connect your charger and you have something else, even if it's not really powerful, connected there, but you are trying to take out of your charger 13 amps and you have that other thing that is taking, let's say one amp or 0.5 amps, you are overcharging that plug. So in other words, you have the risk to burn your three pin plug on the wall and that's definitely something that you don't want to do. So basically what I do, I change the settings on my car to charge only up to 10 amps. And obviously if I need to do a fast charging, I need to change it back to 32. But because I normally charge at home, I will charge at 10 amps. And in that way, even if my charger goes up to 13, it basically will be locked at 10 amps because my car will not request more power, if it makes sense. So what I found with these chargers is even if I put here 10 amps or 9 amps is not really accurate. So for that reason, I prefer to put this one at 
13 that is the maximum capabilities of this charger and I just go to my car and I change to 10 amps and in that way I leave all the 3 amps to all the things that are connected to those two plugs in this case my router and nothing else that I have in there so that's one of the biggest things that you need to be aware of if you put at 13 amps you risk to overload the power on those two plugs and by the way if that happens to you let me know if you have done anything to change the maximum power let me know in the comments below if you are someone that do 50 60 70 miles a day with your electric car and you come home and you are not going to do really anything else during those days you can basically put to charge at home without a problem and if you compare the 200 more or less that you pay for these three pins chargers compared to a level two that maybe you'll be spending 1000 or even more to install in your house definitely not the best solution if you are like me in a rental house but let's address the myths that you find with charging with a three pin plugs so a lot of times you'll hear people saying that is not healthy for your battery and that's definitely not true only if that is a situation that the brand itself says that you should not do that because maybe that is an issue with them but if the brand says to you there is no problem to charge with a three pin plug the only thing that you are going to do is you are going to increase the longevity of your battery because when slower you charge the longer is the durability of your battery the same as if you charge at 90 percent every single day you will have a longer durability of your battery than if you charge every single day to 100%. The other myth is that charging with a three pin plug, it will overheat your plugs at home. And in this case, the three pin plug that comes with your charger. And it is not really a myth that happens, but if you take the right precautions, that in this case is to change the settings on your car to 10 amps or to choose um, charger that only goes up to 9 amps 6 amps no matter which one you want to purchase you will not risk anything the other one is is impossible to do your life with an electric car and with only a three pin plug and I have to say I have the car since August so we have this car for basically four months and we never never charge outside of our house like I said we've been already going to London and coming back so reaching home with 30% of battery 26% of battery something like that and once again we just plug it at home and we charge it and in the last four months we only use a three pin plug charger without any issues whatsoever and without having the plugs getting warmer like I've seen so many times in comments on Amazon products so what I should do to have a healthy battery on my car and one of them I have already covered here is never charging every single day my battery up to 100% because in that way you are going to reduce the longevity of your battery because in other words and explain to you what happens to electric unicycles and it happens also to cars when you have like the brakes that they regenerate the energy towards your battery if you have a battery that is up to 100 percent you are basically overcharging your battery so that's why if you have a battery that goes up to 90 percent so you don't charge those extra 10 percent when you charge even if it's at 90 percent when you break it it will go towards 91 92 so that's why also the longevity of your battery will be better if you charge up to 90 percent but by all means if you are going to do a long trip you should charge up to 100 percent because also with the battery normally the first person that you lose on your battery they allow you more range so when closer you are to the end of your battery less range you can do if it makes sense another thing that i definitely recommend you to avoid is to drain your batteries under 30 percent yes the batteries are much much better than they were on the past but it's never healthy to have a battery that is close to zero and if possible i will never drain the batteries below 30 percent if you are finding until now this video helpful please leave a comment below or subscribe to the channel because in that way you also will help me to grow and to bring more videos like this to you guys for you guys that have already a level 2 charger at home let me know the big benefits besides obviously charging faster 
what was really the benefits that you find and did you find that those investments that you've done on a level two is really worth it compared to a just a three pin plug in other words what i'm trying to say is basically if you live in a city and you just have to do short commutes like i have to do every single day or in this case my wife have to do doing 50 70 or even 80 miles on the day with your car a three pin plug i believe it should be perfectly fine but obviously if you work late and you have to wake up early maybe that will be a problem so you need to consider all those little things before you jump into a three pin plug or if you jump to a level two because i believe that many of you guys that you are considering to have a level two you don't really need it so have that in mind before you purchase it because you may be saving a lot of money if you just use one of these because like I said, for the last four months, I didn't need anything else. So in conclusion, what I'm trying to say is for majority of us that we live in a city, we need to commute between 50 to 80 miles. We still have quite a bit of time to put the car to charge, to have another day using it. A three pin plug like I have here is more than enough. And maybe you don't need to spend all the money that you need to spend to have a level two in your house. My name is Marco, this is Matt Peck. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face. And I hope to see you in the next one.